beautiful sunshine we have in Lake County, California today. It's going to be hot. It's going to be like 105 degrees today. I am outside about to run my dog before it gets too hot. You might be wondering why I was eating oatmeal this morning and I am going to be going over that in this video of why I am going off keto um, as well as showing you what I'm going to eat today, doing a little training talk and a little update on life. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and let's get this day started. Bye! energy. It's unbelievable. You gotta run her every day. Good girl, Papers. Hey guys, so um, to talk to you a little bit and make lunch at the same time so you can see what I got going on for lunch. So like I said before, this video is mainly about um, why I am going off keto, which I'm sure is a shock to all of you because um, I've been doing keto for almost a year. I ran a marathon on keto in March, and um, it's been doing really well for me. I love keto. I'm all about keto. I really believe in the benefits of keto, um, but there are some reasons why I am going to be going off of it. Um, and like I said, I did run a marathon on the keto diet. Four, three, two, one. keto for um, almost six months and I did well during the marathon on keto but I was slow I was able to run the whole time without having to refuel or replenish or take in a lot of calories but I wasn't able to go fast I, I ran at a like 1130 pace um, 1130 per mile pace and I finished the marathon in just at five hours, which was longer than I had wanted. Um, I felt pretty good after the marathon. I um, was very proud that I didn't have to, you know, that I was able to run 26.2 miles on fats, um, which is great. But for my second marathon, I have some bigger goals. Um, I, am, I want to get my speed up. I want to get my time for my marathon down to under five hours. Um, under four hours would be great. Um, I also have some other more um, kind of speed races before my marathon. I have a 10K and some other ones. So I really need to work on getting my speed, you know, getting faster. And keto is a great diet. Keto is great for ultra, ultra runners. Most people who are runners, um, you know, we're trying to get personal records. We're trying to break records. We're trying to get faster. And, um, for me, keto hasn't been really cutting it for the speed aspect of it, for improving my speed, improving my performance. Um, yes, I'm able to run 26 miles on keto. I'm able to run a long time, and that's why keto's awesome. For ultra runners who are running 50 mile races, 100 mile races, you know, keto based diet is great because your body can run a long time on fats. Um, but I am going off keto because I need a little more carb to help with my speed. And glucose is that immediate energy that your body needs to, um, you know, when you are going fast or when you are sprinting. Sorry, I have two little kids and sometimes they need me. Well, all the time they need me, but um, anyway, we just had a, a incident. So. If you hear noises in the background, I apologize. I'm a mother. It's just what it is. Anyways, so that is the reason why I'm going off keto for a little bit during my training. Um, my next marathon is in December, December 2nd. My 10K race I'm running is in October. Um, and I have some big goals. So I am in training. I just started really getting into training. And so I am going to be eating more carbs now. Um, and see how it goes this time. Um, but I mean, don't think that I'm not like totally like keto is out of here. Um, not true. I am still going to be eating keto meals, um, here and there. Um, 
I'll be making keto recipes. I'll be sharing keto tips with you guys. I'm still all about the keto diet and I'm not going to be eating carbs at every meal. Mainly it's going to be in the mornings. It's going to be before my long runs, my intense training. It's going to be here and there. Um, but eating healthy fats is also very important. And um, so it's going to be a mix. Um, but one thing I don't do is if I am eating a higher carb meal, I do not eat fats and carbs kind of mixed together. I don't eat high fat and high carb together. If I'm going to have a high carb meal, let's say for breakfast, I eat a big bowl of oatmeal. I don't have like any fats in that meal. For lunch, I'm going to eat a little more fat, so I'm not going to have as many carbs. You don't really want to mix the two together. That's when you run into issues. So, you know, pick one or the other. <laughs> anyway. So my carbs, I am going to be doing about 60% carbs in my diet. Um, my protein is going to be about 20% and the remaining will be fat. Um, protein will probably be actually about between 20 and 30% and then the remaining will be fat. It is important to get a good amount of protein when you're training like I am to recover. So carbs and protein are actually my main goals right now and fats. Um, the fats I do eat are going to be healthy, healthy fats. And anyway, so that's um, what's going on with me. Um, marathon training is going really well. I have a 12 mile run tomorrow. Um, I'm feeling really good. Yesterday was my first day kind of off keto, going back into carbs, been eating oatmeal, and my energy levels are up. Um, my runs are already feeling a little better. Um, I'm not struggling as much. So that's a good thing. Um, I think this is going to be a good thing for me and um, I will, you know, I'm going to keep you guys posted throughout my training um, from going off the of keto and we'll see how it goes. You know, life is about making adjustments. Um, when you're a runner or any kind of athlete, you have to make adjustments. Your diet, you know, may need to change based on how you know, your feeling or how your body is changing. So it's it's never gonna be this like the same. You know, one training season you could be doing no carbs, the next training season you could be needing to add more carbs. So it, it you have to be able to adapt to those things. So and that's kind of what I am doing. So I will be keeping you guys updated on how the training's going and uh, my diet and what I'm eating so you guys can um, maybe benefit from it also or experiment with your own diet. So anyway, let's get into what I'm having for lunch. This morning I, you saw I had oatmeal. It was very, very good and filling. It is almost noon and I ate breakfast at like seven o'clock so it kept me full for quite a while. What I am making and I'm really excited about this is I'm gonna make some chicken salad. Um, I got these Kirkland chicken breasts at Costco. We have a new Costco close by um, and I bought some of these. I've heard these are really good for quick meals. And um, so I'm gonna be putting the chicken into a bowl. Okay, let me get a spoon here. Adding that in there. And um, then I have an onion. Let me lower you a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. You won't see my face, but onion, um, some green onion, and celery, and hard boiled eggs. And I'm gonna be chopping all that up and putting it into the chicken. And then I'll be mixing it with some olive oil mayonnaise, um, Dijon, Dijon mustard, and a little garlic salt. Yum. And that will be lunch. And I have these low carb La Tortilla Factory whole wheat tortillas. These are really good. La Tortilla Factory is a great brand. These are really good. The ingredients are really um, all natural. There's no um, canola oils or hydrogenated oils in here. And um, one tortilla is only 50 calories, eight grams of fiber, which is really good, five grams of protein. Um, so yeah, these are low carb. So like I said, my, this lunch is going to be more low carb. Um, I ran this morning and I had oatmeal this morning and then I ran which the oatmeal helped me get through my run this morning and I don't really need any carbs for lunch because I'm not doing any really training the rest of the day so I'm going to focus more on protein to recover and rebuild my muscles from my training this morning. Makes sense. Um, so anyway I'm going to put all, this all together and I'll show you what it looks like when I am done. Okay.
so for dinner, we are having, boom, leftover enchiladas, enchilada casserole. This has, I don't know if you can see it, chicken, black beans, a little cheddar, and mozzarella cheese, and um, enchilada sauce, of course, with corn tortillas, and I just layered it all, and um, super delicious. So we are going to be having the rest of this tonight, and um, yeah. We are going to go eat dinner. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of um, why I am going off keto, and I will be keeping you updated on my progress and how my training is going with, um, with not doing keto. And please subscribe to my channel if um, you're liking my videos, and if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your support. and. Um, I am, you know, newer to YouTube, been doing this for like six months and I am loving it. It's so much fun to make videos for people and to help other people um, and to um, make some new friends that have the same interests as you do and to follow other people and I'm loving it. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, hope you guys have a great night.